New update here in Modern Warfare 2, IW fixed the ability to get the free rewards, participate in the event, plus some DMZ stuff to talk about, and much more. Quick reminder, Apex Gaming, my partner, doing a special Black Friday sale. Huge discount with code matters. Links are down below. But first up here, how to access this reward, vote for the World Cup teams, and, you know, get your eventual blueprints if you predict correctly. You're going to go to the main menu here, and you're going to click on L2 on a PS4 controller or whatever the equivalent is on Xbox and PC. Pretty much go to this section here, and you have a new fourth tab, Modern Warfare FC. Click on that, and here is the menu. This is fully available for everyone now. When I recorded my video, I guess it was still rolling out. It was bugged for a lot of people, but now it's fully here. We have the Neymar bundle and then the Pogba bundle, which I'll go through in this video in a couple of minutes. But first up here on the actual event itself, support a team. We have a bunch of things here. Of course, the voting just ended for the USA and England match. By the time this video is uploaded, that match will probably be over. England is the favorite, of course, but we'll see very soon. Next match here to vote on is Argentina or Mexico. And of course, as we talked about in my previous video, if you predict two matches correctly, you will get this blueprint here up on screen. And if you predict four matches correctly, you will get the one below as well. Both pretty sick blueprints overall. So we definitely want to predict these correctly. You have plenty of chances to do so, but you want to do it as soon as possible, just in case, you know, the matches run out, the World Cup is over, and you just never got those blueprints because as of now, will they ever return to this game? We don't know for sure. Just like the beta blueprint, as I said, that was only available from the beta, and it's nowhere in sight, not in the store. You can't get it anywhere else. So here's now is the time to get these limited time blueprints. We want to predict these correctly here. I have a bunch of the World Cup odds up on screen. So the favorite, of course, is Brazil, then France, England, Spain, Argentina, Portugal, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany. Now, if I want to be a betting man, I'm going to vote Argentina here, of course. But I don't know. I want to take a risk here. The World Cup has been pretty interesting. Mexico could pull out the W and, you know, Argentina didn't have the best performance. So I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the odds. going to go with Messi here. I'm going to do Argentina. I'm going to vote. Lock in my vote here. Hold X. And that's what we're doing. So for the next match, I'm supporting Argentina. If I get this correctly, I have one correctly predicted match towards my blueprint unlock. And also I'll get the Argentina calling card there, their country war track and 10,000 XP. Pretty cool stuff there. So be sure to vote now. And each day, the new match unlocks. So you have to log in every day to vote for the team. Make sure to get your votes in to actually, you know, go for these blueprints here. Now, also just added today in the new update, the Pogba Operator Bundle. Pretty cool stuff here. Let's take a look at all of the items. We have, obviously, the Pogba Operator. Take the fight to any enemy. The Paul Pogba Operator Bundle contains tracer blueprints yet again. Let's preview this. Oh, we still can't preview the operators here, unfortunately. So still a bug with that IW. You got to fix that very soon. But, you know, you can take a look at him. Pretty cool operator there. We have the Jaw Buster finishing move. Pretty sick as well. I still want to be able to preview the finishing move in the menu before I purchase the bundle. That still has to be added, but regardless, it is cool. I guess it's, it seems like it would be sick. I don't know. You can get an idea of what it would be, but I want to be able to see what I'm about to buy, though. Um, next here, we have a Fennec 45 Series A blueprint it has hip recoil control hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed this one looks pretty sick actually so we're gonna preview it here let's let's play the preview animation just to get a good look at it it has a pretty cool vibe on um this is actually a little too let's just hide the ui this is actually a better look at it here it's pretty solid it's low key got a cool little bronze look and then you have the same type of blueprint here for the hcr 56 counter attack it has target range indicator recoil control and magazine ammo capacity we'll preview this as well we'll just hide the ui there another pretty cool one as well not gonna lie i like the fennec one a bit more i like more of the black look there the black and bronze looks pretty sick this um this one blends in a bit too much you know what i mean so it's okay but solid one there and then we have a uh, offside ride vehicle skin we have a Pogba 10, little weapon charm, Pogba slide, weapon sticker. And then we have an emblem here, pretty sick overall. So definitely a pretty cool bundle. Not better than the Neymar bundle, honestly. The Neymar Jr. bundle definitely is pretty sick. The blueprints are a bit more interesting, in my opinion, but still a solid bundle overall. Let me know down below if you're going to be purchasing this one. Uh, so pretty cool overall there. But now I want to talk a little bit about DMZ in Warzone 2 slash MW2. Definitely an underrated mode overall. The first reveal we got from it where influencers, YouTubers, streamers played it early didn't do it justice whatsoever. It's a lot more fun 
than what they made it seem like. It's not for everyone, but it's definitely a cool, you know, more tactical way to play Warzone 2, a better version of Spec Ops as well. It's pretty fun. It's honestly pretty fun. So if you haven't played it, be sure to check it out. We'll be doing a bunch more DMZ content very soon. But I was on Twitter and I found this super interesting. Call of Duty tweeted out, you know, have you gotten the M13B in DMZ by killing the chemist? which, you know, obviously has been a big problem for people. It's not the hardest thing to do, but it's definitely not easy. And now that they nerfed the ability to, you know, have a vehicle and just run over the chemist to get that instantly, you have to actually go in there, use your weaponry, and kill that super difficult AI to get the M13B uh, from the chemist. It's super hard. And that tweet, to my surprise, got 10,000 likes on Twitter, which is a lot more than Call of Duty's recent tweets there. So it's showing you that people are definitely struggling with this and i'm seeing so many replies and comments on random tweets like random stuff not even referring to dmz of people saying i need a squad to help me get the m13b anyone want to play with me join up this and that i still haven't gotten it it's so frustrating this and that so many people saying that so it's still a hot topic and it's interesting because, you know, did they do the right thing by nerfing the ability to get that M13B by using a vehicle to just run over the chemist, picking up that, you know, weapon there and then getting out of there as quick as possible? It's now so much more difficult. So I don't know. Should they revert that chain? Is it way too hard to get now? Or is the M13B this new prized possession that, you know, it takes a bit of effort to get it and it's more rewarding because it took that extra effort? You know, is it fair that it's only available in DMZ? Are we, you know, blocking players from being able to get it? I think this is actually a good thing because imagine it was just available in the store. It's almost like a, not a pay to win type of thing, but you know, for people that went through the struggle or even if it wasn't a struggle, if you took your time to go into DMZ, get the M13B, it's more rewarding. You didn't have to pay anything and it's just a better experience. You unlocked it by playing the game, which is really how you should be unlocking most things. While for other people, if you have a little extra money to spend, you could have just bought it for 20 bucks in the store bundle if there was a store bundle for the M13B, unlocked it immediately, and that's it. And is it really as rewarding just spending $20 to get a weapon? Not really. I feel like for most players, even if you guys think it's difficult to get it in DMZ, and it shouldn't be, you know, just in DMZ, it should be available in other methods. I think it's cool that it's only available by playing the game. And the fact that there isn't a store bundle is a cool thing. And overall, I kind of want to see more of this stuff in the future. Actual specific challenges, whether or not it's in DMZ, maybe MP challenges, like win 10 matches by doing this or use this weapon. Not super hard challenges, but just, you know, different challenges that people have to do. Play the game, have some fun, and then you'll get your weapon. Maybe it's a semi-difficult challenge, whatever it is, but that would be a much more fun and rewarding experience than just buying it in a store bundle. Keep store bundles purely cosmetics. That's it. I think it's interesting. And the fact that a lot of people are super interested in trying to get the M13B, you know, there are tons of tweets about it. it it's making it a, a fun little thing for people to want to hop into the game, want to grind for it. If they're struggling, they want to keep on coming back to get it. It just makes it more interesting. It gives you the uh, gives you a reason to hop back into this game, which I think is pretty cool. So let me know down below, you know, what is your opinion on that? Do you want more DLC weapons that are only locked for DMZ? I don't mind if another DLC weapon for season two is only available through a super interesting dmz challenge i wouldn't mind at all but let me know down below your opinions on that definitely a super interesting topic there but overall that's it for this video be sure to subscribe for more mw2 warzone 2 news update videos like this check out my partner apex gaming pcs great customizable pcs over there special black friday sale 15 percent off links are down below appreciate that guys shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys